Thai Navy SEAL Commander, limited amount of time left to rescue trapped soccer team May Sai Thailand, a sense of urgency grew Friday around efforts to rescue a young soccer team trapped in a cave in northern Thailand as clouds gathered over the area, intermittent drizzle began falling and oxygen levels inside the cave worsened. Chiang Rai Gov. Narang Sakasatanakur said that oxygen levels in the cave have been thinned out by a large number of rescue workers inside the cave's network of underground tunnels, and that officials are working to get a three mile cable into the cave to help replenish the oxygen level. At first, we thought that we could sustain the kids' lives for a long time where they are now, but now, many things have changed. We have a limited amount of time, said SEAL Commander Arpakur Nukonku, according to the Associated Press. The comments came hours after officials said that a former Thai Navy SEAL working to save the trapped team died from a lack of oxygen in an overnight mission. Arpakurn told reporters the volunteer rescuer was working to replace oxygen canisters. Apakurn said that Thailand's King Vajiralongkorn announced that the diver would be given royally sponsored funeral rites including a military funeral at the Sabahuk Navy base in Pattaya, and then in his hometown in the northern Thailand province of Rayet. Thai authorities are racing to pump bat water from the flooded cave, where 12 boys and their soccer coach have been trapped since June 23, but with more rains forecast to hit the northern region as part of monsoon season the situation has become more urgent. More, Thailand Cave Rescue, former Thai Navy SEAL dies from lack of oxygen more, hero or zero, Thailand a buzz over coach who led boys into cave, then kept them alive more, an illustrated look at the Thai Cave Rescue at the cave site. A makeshift village of volunteers has sprung up alongside military and medical rescue coordinators. Dozens of locals are serving up food, water and medicine to rescue teams and the scores of media members who have descended on the remote forest park. A medical tent is available on site, staffed by a rotating group of doctors and nurses from May Sai, the nearest town. Even free haircuts are being given away on plastic chairs under a tent, and a local cafe brought in an espresso and cappuccino machine to make fresh coffee. This is my backyard, said Brandon Fox, a 36-year-old from Michigan who lives in May Sai and has been coming to the site daily to help out with everything from trash collection to translation. I'm here to help out in any way I can. Fox, who works with the Thai Aid Foundation, has lived in Thailand for 14 years and speaks fluent Thai. On Thursday, Operation Commander Narang Sakasatanakurn said overzealous volunteers working on their own arrived on the site and began pumping water into the ground, forcing it back into the partially flooded Tham Luang Nang Nan Cave complex. They may have some belief that their techniques are effective for groundwater drainage, but anything that is not in the plan must be discussed with us first," Narang Sak told Thai media. We are racing against water, that is, flowing into the cave, although we have plugged its channels. The boys are 11 16 years old, and their coach is 25. However, not all of them can swim, and some areas of the cave network where they disappeared after going exploring following a soccer game are still flooded all the way to the ceiling. Fox said that the news of the former Thai Navy SEAL diver, Sam and Kunin, who died in the rescue operation last night, hit hard, but that the rescue workers are still resolute in their mission. When the news came out, it was a shock for sure, he said. But the determination to rescue the boys hasn't changed, and neither has the hope.
an outpouring on social media emerged in tribute to the 38-year-old Kunin, who had volunteered to help with the rescue efforts. Facebook and Twitter users posted messages hailing him as a hero, while some shared images from his Facebook page showing him as a dedicated runner and competitive cyclist. But the worsening conditions were concerning rescuers and volunteers. I'm worried about the rain, said Vizin Lai of San Jiang, 59, a volunteer from Mei Tsai. A former nurse and current director of the Division of Health for AC, she was working at a stand providing donated medicines and small items such as underwear and socks. We are all here to help the children in the cave. We hope they will come outside soon, she said. Contributing, Kim Jelmgard and John Bacon. Tie Diver dies during cave rescue operations. A former diver with an elite Thai Navy unit has died while taking part in operations to rescue 12 boys and their soccer coach who have been trapped in a flooded cave in Thailand. Simon Kunin was returning from an overnight mission placing oxygen canisters when he lost consciousness and died Friday morning, Thai Navy SEAL Commander Arpakarn Yukonki told reporters Friday. Damon was helping with the rescue mission as a volunteer. The boys have been trapped in a complex cave system in Chiang Rai in northern Thailand since June 23. The elite diver's death underscores the difficulty and complexity of attempting to rescue the 12 boys, ages 11 16, and their 25 year old coach. Many of the boys reportedly do not know how to swim and do not have experience using scuba equipment. The journey from outside to where the boys are stuck takes about six hours, according to the New York Times. Arpakern also told reporters Friday that time to rescue the boys is now limited, though he did not specify the reasons. At first we thought that we could sustain the kids' lives for a long time where they are now, but now, many things have changed," he said, according to the Associated Press. We have a limited amount of time. That authorities had earlier considered waiting months until the rainy season ends to rescue the boys. Rescuers are reportedly also concerned about a lack of oxygen in the cave. Major Chen. Chalang Chai Chayakam told reporters the most important task is to set up an oxygen line to reach the boys, the AP reports. Rescuers have been working to pump water out of the cave. But the Bangkok Post reports that monsoon rains are predicted for Sunday, which authorities fear could refill the cave and reverse gains made in the mammoth rescue effort in recent days. Dodd Arpakern told reporters, I can guarantee that we will not panic, we will not stop our mission, we will not let the sacrifice of our friend go to waste, according to the BBC. An outpouring on social media emerged in tribute to the 38-year-old Kunin, who had volunteered to help with the rescue efforts. Facebook and Twitter users posted messages hailing him as a hero, while some shared images from his Facebook page showing him as a dedicated runner and competitive cyclist. But the worsening conditions were concerning rescuers and volunteers. I'm worried about the rain, said Vizin Lai of San Jiang, 59, a volunteer from Mei Tsai. A former nurse and current director of the Division of Health for AC, she was working at a stand providing donated medicines and small items such as underwear and socks. We are all here to help the children in the cave. We hope they will come outside soon, she said.